Nigeria's Minister of Sports, Sunday Diary, has confirmed that efforts to revamp the federal government-owned stadiums are ongoing. He said the sports facilities, including the national stadiums in Lagos and Abuja, will be resuscitated via a partnership with the private sector. The minister said putting the facilities into use will boost sport economy and development in the country. During the visit to the National Stadium in Lagos, alongside the governor of the state, Babatunde Sonwolu, Dari said his private and public partnership strategy would help salvage sports facilities from their dilapidated state and ensure proper maintenance. I returned with the Lagos State Governor and his deputy. I returned with the DG of BP and the ICRC. So we want to bring private initiative, private funding into the National Stadium Restoration. I had a second uh, meeting with uh, uh, Elijah Dangote in his office. Uh, the process is going on. It's support for the restoration of the facility in Abuja. I also met with uh, Adebutu Keshintin, Chief Adebutu. Um, I had very fruitful discussion with him. Going, I also went to the stadium to see Bamba Akani, who is using private funds to, uh, to nurture about 30 athletes. And founder and CEO, Making of Champions, Bambo Akoni, joins me live on the news now. Um, well, Bambo, Nigeria's sport minister confirmed he had a meeting with you earlier today. He said he discussed your project, Making yep. of Champions, and its impact on athletics in the country. Tell, I mean, tell us more about this meeting. Well, uh, this meeting was the culmination of um, a discourse um, that... Uh, we began with the minister back in Rabat during the African Games. Um, if you recall, he was um, sworn in as the minister at that time, and he went straight to Rabat to meet with the, with the team, uh, with Team Nigeria. So we've started the discourse since then. Um, we obviously were on ground in Rabat covering the Games. Um, we were also at the IWF World Championships. And I think this was just the minister's way of saying thank you for the work uh, that we've been doing. Uh, not just the media work, but also the athletes we've been training in, in Lagos um, to represent Nigeria. So I think in all, it's a pretty humbling experience uh, for us to get that uh, national recognition from the minister. And um, I think it's probably a sign of uh, good things to come um, in sports. In the first two months of his tenure, he has shown that he really wants to he really wants to explore sports to its fullest potential in Nigeria. And that looks very promising. Okay, Bamba, looking back at how it all started, would you say making of champions as a project is fulfilling its objectives? Yes, definitely, I would say so. We started because we wanted to help build those uh, next generation of Olympians for Nigeria. We've been training athletes for three years, and now we're going into the fourth year of the track club. Um, and I'm pleased to say that we have at least three or four athletes who are um, very uh, are hopefuls for the Olympics. Um, all goes well. They should be at the Olympics next year. Their first Olympics, the first Olympics for athletes at Making of Champions Track Club in our fourth year. So I would say that we're beginning to um, see that vision that we started uh, Making of Champions with. Many thanks to you, Bambo Akoni, CEO, Making of Champions live on the news tonight. The first leg of the Lagos Open Tennis Championship has been concluded with Calvin Hameri of France emerging winner of the men's singles contest.